Hi guys, so welcome back. Uh, thanks everyone for support over my last couple of videos. So uh, today we're um, going to do another engine test, um, but we're going to do a few more little bits. Um, we start the engine, try and back the idle back to a lower setting, uh, and then I'm going to see how the engine reacts to some throttle input from the foot throttle and hopefully get it up to uh, top pressure, P2 pressure uh, at 40 psi. But the other thing is I've actually fitted the afterburning air, uh, which that will in effect act as a, as a jet nozzle, so there'll be a bit of, be a, bit of a restriction on the, uh, the end of the engine, so uh, we could see some increase in exhaust gas temperatures, we don't know yet. Uh, providing everything else goes well and we've still got quite cool exhaust gas temperatures and we'll try and go for afterburner light um, we'll either end up uh, smoking everyone out in the area and um, getting complaints about the, the clothes smelling on the washing lines or we'll uh, scare the bejesus out of them when the thing lights off but I can only be doing this because I've got such wonderful neighbours I've had a word with them all, I've told them what I'm doing and the basic like, well, just crack on with it. We'll come and watch what you're doing. So, to my neighbours, thanks. To everyone that keeps watching my videos and, and writing comments and sharing and whatever, thanks. So, all right, let's get on with this engine test. Wow, hmm. didn't expect that. So uh, it's actually a week later now. Uh, I was a bit uh, frustrated when that happened, or didn't happen, as the case may be. Uh, I pulled the engine apart, uh, checked everything, there's some pictures coming up somewhere around. Um, yeah, everything looks as it should inside, which in some respects is a good thing. But it doesn't help us figure out what went wrong. Uh, could be a couple of little things. Perhaps I've backed the fuel pressure off a little bit too much. Uh, the igniter plug's probably not working as well, so I've checked everything out that I can. Did notice a little rub on the webbing on the back of the turbine wheel where it sits into the NGV section. So I've been up to AET turbos. Uh, big shout out and thanks to them for helping me out. We've been and checked the the rotor, the compressor wheel and the turbine unit together, uh, check the balance on that, make sure that we've, we've not rubbed it. It, it. it was, I mean, as he said, factory settings, it would have been fine. He's gone a bit, bit beyond that just to make sure it's super, super balanced. So again, thanks a lot AET. So everything's back together. Uh, no afterburner this time, I'm just gonna see if it runs again, see if it behaves. Uh, if all's well, I'll bring up the uh, the P2, get her up into the higher power. I've got uh, a load of bricks on the stand and I've strapped the, end, the, the cart and the engine unit down so hopefully it won't start moving. So uh, yeah, we'll go again then.
So, uh, it worked this time. We got up to full power. Uh, I think I've overfilled the oil a little bit. Bit of smoke on shut down, that's probably just unburnt fuel or a bit of oil just got in. It's not a major issue, but we got it up to full power. Probably a little bit of a hot start. I didn't give the air, and I've just realised I hadn't tightened the air bottle up fully, so it probably would have spooled a bit quicker if that was fully tight. Hey ho, there's a lot to think about. But so yeah, 40 psi boost. The girlfriend was down the garden, said she was roasting. 600 degrees EGT. Uh, still maintained a 40 psi oil pressure, but I think what I'll do, I'll uh, dial in a bit more on the oil pump, see if I can't improve on that. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. Get the oil level settled, get the afterburner on, and uh, we'll try again, see what happens next time. So, as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe, and just take care. Thanks, bye.